Welcome back to another video everybody. This is Scotty and today we're going to do an overview walkthrough of Decked Out and what we have built so far. To begin, we're going to look at the Shulker deck counter. We're going to place our deck here. You see it does not take out the items. Let's go ahead and break this glass and send the Shulker over. In here, it will pull out the cards send them down to a sorting system that will count and turn on and off certain things within the dungeon. And once it goes through that system, they should end up back in here. And here they come. There's all of them. Let's go ahead and close this back up. It also locks this to prevent anyone else from playing if someone's already in here. And this door will only open when the game is active. You can walk all the way up to here. Let it close. You can still walk down and it will open. It will only lock when you go all the way through and hit the plates down there. And once we hit these, it locks the door so no one else can come in. Let's go ahead and walk around a little bit to show you what all has been built. The ceiling does need some work, but that is hard to do since the hermits pretty much never look up. We got our trapped doors running. I believe I have the timing right, but it's the same as the real one. I'm currently working on the nether area with it a little bit. So we'll head down here to one forest, which is currently getting started on. We got this room done. Just need some flame up here down here is ready. This will lead to the other forest and the wither roses. We got our gold room in here and that does work. What well, works if we throw it on it? Now it's open. We can go this way. We got our nether wart room. And we got this. Right now this is fairly easy. Mainly that is because the ceiling is not in place yet that blocks some of the jumps. We got our walkway here through the lava area. Then we got the start of the blackstone area as well. We're back in the nether area. Let's go ahead and head in here. This part is pretty much done. We've got our center chamber here that will spit out some vexes later on. Out of the lower part of the bridge. The next update will have our sideways chains so we can have that connected. We got our well. And our well is ready to connect it over here to the blackstone area. And once we get that done, over there is the graveyard. Let's head that way. This part has also been started. But as you see, it still needs some work. This takes us back into that center area. And 
And we got our little statues in here. Yeah, so we got the diorite one and the andesite one. So I got a lot more work over on this area as well to finish. Down here will take us to the jail. And this will take us down into the graveyard. And that's about it for the replica so far. It is getting there little, block by block, but decked out is a fairly big game. It was designed to fit in a 100 by 100 area, and that does not include the entrance and the player locker room. In time, I will finish this. I'll keep doing little by little on it. Once it is completely built, we'll look at adding in the redstone and making everything work. Most of it should work fine without issues on bedrock. A couple things will not, like beast sense. We currently cannot see mobs when a bell rings, so until they add that into our game, that one will not work. But everything else should work as intended. Hopefully you found this overview video helpful. Thank you for watching.